Toyotas. Not everybody's got one, but everybody wants one. And when everybody wants one, they want them to steer right. So today we're talking about steering. This is uh, one of our good customers' vehicles. Just finished doing our full steering setup on a couple of little refresh things, but what we're gonna focus on is this beefy tie rod and drag link that we got under here. And with an 05 and up, the factory tie rod sits nice and low. So when you got guys like Wyatt, um, you hit it a lot. He wanted something that was gonna be a little more foolproof, just bash through the trail, keep your tie rod up, clear out of the way. So when we have somebody come in that has that issue, this is the parts that we sell them. You do need to replace your passenger side knuckle with a reed. You gotta drill it out to one inch and you have to drill your factory knuckle on this side out to one inch. And then with that reed that accommodates us put our WFO steering arm on top of the knuckle, which allows you to move the drag link up because on a factory 05 and up setup, if anybody's watching has worked with one, you know, tie rod comes through the bottom and then the drag link actually pins the tie rod through from the top so it's all on that same knuckle arm. When you get rid of that and put the tie rod on top, it doesn't work. It does change your geometry a little bit. So in the case of Wyatt's, he had a drop pitman arm. We had to put a flat pitman arm on it. So it's not as bolt together as our kit is when you get it. But again, this is like a down the road upgrade if you take your kit out and you wheel it and say, okay, well, tie rods become the weak link, so we're gonna upgrade. So this is a two inch 250 wall DOM with inserts welded on either side to accommodate inch and a quarter Himes, one inch hole. It gives you plenty of bump out to clear your diff cover, pretty much any diff cover you can run. Gives you room to put the ram behind it. Touching back on the steering arm, um, we offer them in drag link taper, we offer them 5 eighths hole, 3 quarter hole. So whatever steering you plan on going with, most likely what you're gonna do and what we typically like to run is a 7 8 7 8 time. And then you take that 7 eighths and you neck it down to 3 quarter with misalignment spacers. And that gives you enough room to get the articulation out of the suspension and not bind your himes. As you can see on this setup, and most of them, we had to do a Z-bend in the drag link, and that just gives a little more offset so that when you're fully drooped out, those himes are not binding on the spacers. Very similar in function to the factory steering. Just moves everything up, gets everything out of the way so those rocks just slip right underneath and bash your axle instead of your tie rod because axles bend much more difficult than tie rods do. So, yeah, if you got one of our Toyota kits or if you're building an 05 and up and you want to do high steer, this is the kit you're going to need and this is the kit you're going to want. And if you want to get one of these beefy steering kits for your Toyota or anything else that we make, all WFO manufactured products are 15% off at www.wfoconcepts.com. So, go get it! <laughs>